डिस्टिंगज बिटवीन इलेक्ट्रोवेलेंट एंड कोवेलेंट कंपाउंड केमिकल बॉन्ड्स आर द अट्रैक्टिव फोर्सेस विच हेल्ड द टू एटम टुगेदर इन ए केमिकल कंपाउंड टू मोर कॉमन केमिकल बॉन्ड्स आर इलेक्ट्रोवेलेंट बॉन्ड एंड कोवेलेंट बॉन्ड कोवेलेंट कंपाउंड कंसिस्ट कोवेलेंट बॉन्ड एंड इलेक्ट्रोवेलेंट कंपाउंड कंसिस्ट इलेक्ट्रोवेलेंट बॉन्ड according to octet theory each atom want to keep eight electron in its outermost orbit and stabilized itself so that atom chemically combine to other atoms and form molecules or ions except inert gas which has complete octet like helium neon argon atom complete its octet by two ways either transfer one or more electron to other atom this mode is called electrovalent bond or mutual sharing of one or more electron between two atom this mode is called covalent bond formation of electrovalent bond the conditions are metal must have low ionization enthalpy non metal must have high negative electron gain enthalpy compound must have high negative lattice enthalpy we can understand formation of electrovalent bond taking example of sodium chloride sodium atom transfer one electron to chlorine atom so that sodium atom gets positive charge and chlorine atom gets negative charge then there will be strong electrostatic attraction between sodium ion and chloride ion this is called electrovalent bond and sodium chloride is electrovalent compound cation is always smaller than its parents atom while anion is bigger than its parents atom formation of covalent bond atom share one or more electron to other atom and complete their octet we can understand the covalent bond with the help of formation of oxygen molecules oxygen atom share two electron with other oxygen atom and form oxygen molecule so that we can say oxygen has double bond between sorry oxygen molecules has double bond between two oxygen atom other example of covalent compounds are methane carbon tetrachloride properties of electrovalent compound ionic or electrovalent compound is high melting point since electrovalent bonds are stronger bond they are crystalline solid ionic compounds are soluble in water in water ionic compounds are broken into cation and anion this process is called ionization ionic compound conduct electricity in aqueous state or in molten state due to presence of free ions properties of covalent compound covalent compounds are present in all the three states solid liquid and gas covalent compounds are insoluble in water covalent compounds are insulator and covalent bonds are directional in nature it means covalent bonds are direction are covalent bonds are directed in specific direction in three dimensional space so that covalent compound has definite geometrical structure we can say water has water is a angular molecules while methane molecules is tetrahedral in shape now we have two chemical compound compound a and compound b and we have to identify which one is electrovalent and which one is covalent compound a is crystalline solid while compound b is soft and semi solid it is semi solid adding compound in water and shaking the test tube compound a is soluble in water compound b is lighter than water it floats on water now shaking com 
compound B is insoluble in water and floats on water. Compound A is soluble while compound B is insoluble in water. Aqua solution of compound A conduct electricity. while compound B not conduct electricity. Insulator Taking compound on a spatula and heating it. Whether it melt or not. Compound A not easily melt. Taking compound B on a spatula and heating it. It easily melt. So compound A has high melting point while compound B has low melting point. Summarizing observation in a observation table Compound A is electrovalent and compound B is covalent. We distinguish both the compounds. 